Well, here joining us in the studio now, head coach of Energy Standard, James Gibson. James, 27 and a half points behind Cali Condors, but it was a pretty incredible day all round. How would you sum it up? I'd say it was a very close day. You know, we just missed out on some of these tight finishes. Uh, Benny in the 50 breaststroke, Darnus in the 4-3, Sarah at the start in the 100 fly. We had a couple of little results that didn't go our way, but it's still very, very close. And the fact that us and Cali have got that one skin selection each is going to make uh, for a very interesting day tomorrow. Yeah, that was an incredibly quick medley, really, as well. Kolesnikov there, just fantastic. What do you, what do you think ahead of the skins tomorrow? Are you going to give us any info? <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. No, Clement, Clement obviously leading off of the world record. It's got to make us think a little bit about backstroke. We've got uh, two great backstrokers, but then the other teams are strong as well. Uh, to be honest, it'll be tactics. It will be trying to play where Caleb is not swimming. <laughs> you know, let's be, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's, let's not avoid the elephant in the room there. Uh, but we're going to go back. We're going to do the maths. We're going to crunch the numbers, and we're going to go with what we feel like we can maximise our points. I think that was a thing across the board, wasn't it? When it came, when the, when Kelly had won the first relay, if they won the second, oh dear. But on the second, you, London or LA winning it actually favoured you, everyone else bar Kelly. No, exactly. You know, those skins uh, are so important. And I, like, we, we predict that they'll go for women's breaststroke. Like, we're very strong. Like, Benny broke the uh, Italian record there. Uh, so we, we're actually quite good in those events. Women's backstroke, we're covered as well. Um, but, uh, you know, that just, just for our own thing, concentrating on our own team, we've got to step up a little bit tomorrow. Like, Cali came out, they came out swinging, you know. Caleb and, you know, you got to, sometimes you just got to take your hat off to great swimming, and he was exceptional today, and we just got to try and be a little bit better tomorrow. But they didn't have it all their own way. You've got your own world record today, although they've got three of them. So what can we expect from you guys tomorrow? Is there any other people we've not heard, seen of so far that we think we're going to step up for you? Yeah, there is. Like, look at uh, Siobhan Hoagie. We just, that was another one that was missed. New Asian record, 50 point in the 100 free. She'll be strong again tomorrow. She hasn't done her favourite events yet. Sarah will come back f swinging and fighting tomorrow. But we, you know, we've got great strength in depth. Evgeny Riloff today was, was huge in the 200. Uh, he'll be back in, obviously, tomorrow as well. But uh, we've got to look at, go back with crunch the numbers, try and find out where we can maximise our points. But like this, the whole thing's unpredictable. You know, we can't say it's going to go one way or the other, but Cali have stepped up, and we just have to get that little bit better tomorrow. But James, you've often said to your swimmers after day one, don't get disheartened because we still have a full day of swimming on day two. And Energy Standard, looking at the field, are particularly strong on day two as well, looking at the other teams. How much is that going to be the message tonight once again to your team? Well, we're so much better than what we were six weeks ago when we started this. Where our guys are so, so much better, and we've stepped up a lot. And let's say last year when we went through the whole ISL process, we were never winning, you know, after day one. And, we all, and then we were miles behind until the skins, and then we came good at the end. So we are traditionally good the second day. We have a very, very strong uh, day tomorrow. Um, so now when we're getting back to the hotel, we're getting fully recovered tonight, get some good food in them, and just explain to them all what's happening. Like, we're only 27 points behind. This is actually very good for us. Like from where we predicted we're in front, so we're quite happy. I'm sure. Well, James, thank you so much for stopping by here at the ISL studio. We wish you guys the best of luck tomorrow and potentially see who is going to be crowned ISL 2020 champions. Thank you. Thanks, guys.